So just uh, means, uh, Ted, are you going to call the meeting to order? Yes, okay. yeah, I'll call the meeting to order. Will you please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all. Uh, first business action item is the 2021-2022 BOCES administrative vote. Um, Sue, would you please uh, open the envelope and read the... We're going to do the budget first. Okay. So the administrative budget vote resolved that the Board of Education of the Lindenville Central School District hereby approves the proposed administrative budget for the Orleans Niagara Board of Cooperative Educational Services in the amount of two million eight hundred fifty nine thousand five hundred nineteen. So we we'll need a motion. We need a motion to approve. Motion to approve. Second. Second. Any questions or comments? And I'll poll the members for a, a vote. Um, mm -hmm. Vern, yay or nay? Yay. Kristen? Yay. Jared? Yay. Harold? Yay. Sue? Yes. Yay. I vote yes as well. So that's unanimous, Lori. Yay. Next agenda item is the election of members of the Orleans Niagara BOCES uh, Board of Education. Sue, can you please read the ballot? The Board of Cooperative Educational Services of the sole supervisory district of the counties of Orleans and Niagara. Ballot for election to Board of Cooperative Educational Services. There are four vacancies on the Board of Cooperative Educational Services Board of Education to be filled at the annual election to be held on April 27, 2021. The trustees or Board of Education of each component school district by resolution may cast one vote for each vacancy to be filled provided that there are no more, provided that no more than one vote may be cast for any candidate. No more than one person residing in a particular component school district may be elected to serve on the Board of Cooperative Educational Services at one time except as provided in Education Law 1950, subcategory 2A. The district clerk or other officer authorized to certify that a board resolution has been adopted shall complete the ballot by placing an X in the box to the right of the name of each candidate for whom the vote has been cast and by completing the attached certification. Candidates are listed in alphabetical order with their address and school district of residence. The first candidate is Keith Bond of Gasport, New York, of the Royal Royalton Heartland Central School District. The second candidate is Edward Grabowski, Medina, New York, Medina Central School District. The third candidate is Wayne Wadhams, Albion, New York, Albion Central School District. The fourth candidate is Joanne Woodside, Lockport, New York, Lockport City School District. And unless I hear objection, um, we'd like to take all the candidates together. If possible, any objection to that? Okay, I need a motion to approve the ballot for each of those candidates. Motion to approve. Okay. Any questions or comments? Okay, I'll poll the members for their votes. Vern? Yay. Kristen? Yay. Jared? Yay. Harold? Yes. Sue? Yay. I vote yay as well, so that's unanimous. So, Lori, if you would certify the election. I appreciate yeah. that. And we need a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 
And we'll just do a voice vote all in favor of adjourn. Please say yay. 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 And that's unanimous. So and Laura, thank just, you. To stop, just to stop recording, Laura, hit the same three dots again.